getting ready to go to the airport and I'm just about to make my bed and do the finishing touches of my skincare. Put it all in my suitcase and then we're headed to Buffalo. Do you think I can bring this on a plane? My little mustache shaver. I guess I'll just do that now. I've got everything I need in here. Let's make the bed. I put my blanket in the wash and it like destroyed it which was a really big bummer. So I think for Black Friday, Jared and I are gonna get a new duvet and like a new nice duvet cover. I don't know if you can tell, but those pillowcases do not fit the pillows. So I think we're gonna do a whole bedding thing for Black Friday, which is interesting because I did that for this Black Friday last year and it just kind of got ruined. see if there's anything else so i'm gonna check the travel time to laguardia it's 22 minutes that's good news because today is the busiest travel day of the year i'm gonna spray some perfume on my travel clothes because that sparks joy the pleasing perfume this is the uh this is in the scent rivulets which is the citrusy one. The other two, I didn't love. They were a little too strong, a little too intense. Um, and I like strong scents. They were just not, not for me, but this one I really like. The only thing I do not like about this perfume is that it's it like rocks like this. I, I don't like that. I, that makes me uneasy read somewhere that if you travel a lot and you get a lot of travel anxiety that you should spray your favorite perfume because it's tricking your brain to being more calm and feeling like you're at home or just doing regular things and not in an airplane um so that's what i'm gonna do with this sweatshirt I'm at my aunt's house and I'm on pug duty. Come on. It is so beautiful out. I'm so glad that the weather is nice because in past Thanksgivings here before, it's been absolutely so freezing, so cold, so snowy, and it's literally so beautiful out today. And look at this cutie little butterball and her brother. I went out with my cousin last night and I haven't drank in a long time. And I'm definitely feeling it this morning. Mm, I'm definitely feeling it this morning. I I think I'm also feeling the McDonald's that I shoved in my mouth at like 1 a.m. The spicy chicken sandwich is so good, <laughs> but I'm sort of regretting it now because I feel like I get like poo poo caca. This is very like stick season vibes. You know what I mean? With the barn too, please. I might as well be in Vermont. <laughs> this little girl is 19 and a half. She's seen some shit. I was 10 when she was born. That's crazy. Isn't that crazy to think about? <laughs> She's so sweet. Oh, and she's purring so much. 
coming. <laughs> There's so many times a day <laughs> that a camera is thrust in my face. I never know what's happening, so hello. Content! Hello. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start talking to myself. Thanksgiving, everyone. This is my outfit. I'm wearing my Pilgrim 3000. My, <laughs> my Levi's 501 90s, and then this White and Warren cashmere sweater that I had embroidered at one of their events with little tic-tac-toes. I saw it on Pinterest. It's um, based off of a sweater from the, the Elder Statesman, I think, but it's out of stock and they're not making it anymore, so I decided to DIY it myself. Then I've got my charm necklace that I added to some more charms last night with my dad and a pair of pliers. And then my Jenny Bird earrings. Okay, diamond. And then we're fold up. Fold up, fold it in. You're going all the way down to the end. Is this what the rose is? Yep. Okay. Piece at the end. Yep. We're gonna tuck in. That will keep the round. Okay. Place it on its end and fold it down over so that it's oh, it shit. locks down like that. Okay, hold on. And then once they fold, they sit down on each other, so that's perfect. Why did this one go? What did I do wrong? You didn't. That's perfect. Is it? Oh, oh. Ah! My rose exploded. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would definitely take it. I am thinking Stop. I think it's really measured well. I think Stop. that you can't lick right this. There inside that office, instead of at the couch there, that along that wall and that way, yeah, and then put and then. Oh, these are too big, right? No. Yeah. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Set it on top. Don't get a sister. Push it back and lean it like a skinny dog. Now, with the part of the chain, hold it. Slay. Slay, Dad. Mm -hmm. Say slay. Slay. <laughs> Finally put you to work. <laughs> Say slay. Slay. <laughs> Oh wow, it's catching. Yeah. Dad, that was so quick. Because you turned the wood over. Wow. Nice. <laughs> Hello, old girl. Hello. Are you sitting with Jared? We've been tasked to getting wood. That's not what we should get. No, we need the dry the dry stuff. We can even get some of these sticks. That's wet. We should get some of these. Sticks. The dry wood. The timber is very important. <laughs> you know, a couple months I'm gonna put I'm gonna put some scaffolding out back here. Get the you know get the wood better and <laughs> yeah, just keep putting it off. Good job. Uh, oh, that's perfect. That's fine. That's fine. The, sh the shingles. <laughs> the shingles on the roof. You, know. you gotta replace those. So I'll, I'll get up there once the once the spring weather comes. Around. Bye. Happy Thanksgiving. With chopping more wood. So I'm going to fetch the axe. Many things. Oh, this is a scary, scary garage. Okay, okay. Oh, not scary with the lights on. Okay. I was told it's next to the chainsaw. But I don't see a chainsaw. Splinted the neck. I'm just gonna work with this, like I did there. <gasps> you got a splinter? Dad! It's gone. Oh, oh, yeah, I, I thought you just it got out, it. Yeah. No, it just went just in. Just be careful. It went in that far. <sighs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. Please be careful. The blade's a little dull. <laughs> I 
<laughs> See, that's the slide down approach. I was doing it's a different school yeah. of cutting. Yeah. But I think for this sort of wood, and I like, I think your approach is better. <laughs> oh! <laughs> now, now you put the other one back up and split it. That again. was satisfying. <laughs> Video? Yes! I did it! I'm going to turn you on bit on one table. Damn it, I did it! Whoa! I'm sorry? Uh, oh. 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 My brother went out and I was... And he just puked on you. Yeah, it's like 10. He's hopping. Definitely went down there. Oh. Yeah. You stole my look. Time for some leftovers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're all orange. Nice, fine leftover meal. What do we've got? We've got a bun, cranberry sauce, turkey with some cheese under there, and a nice gravy dip. What do they call it? Ajou? Mm -hmm. Ajou. They can move towards the camera. back from Buffalo. We got in this morning around, oh my God, I don't even know what time it is. It's two o'clock now. We landed about 8.30, I think, this morning. We got up at 5.15 and my cousin drove us to the airport. It's so funny because we were, we were all talking in the car on the way there, like, that would never be me, could never be me. Actually, it would probably, I would, I would definitely offer, but I would hope that they would take an Uber. <laughs> went for a walk, I got more coffee. I went and stopped into Madewell and Ghani to see the sales. I also went to Reformation, and I don't know if you guys, if you guys felt that way for Black Friday, but um, the Reformation sale was kind of shitty. 25%? Not even like 35 you know, it's so expensive and I feel like 25 is really not that much for a sale when the rest of the world is like 40-50% off. Anytime I'm away from my house or I'm very busy, the best feeling is coming home, sitting down and watching all of my YouTube videos that I need to catch up on. There is no better feeling, especially on the weekend because usually YouTube videos for me and the creators that I love don't post on the weekend um so i have to wait till monday for uploads and i love mondays but um i'm catching up on uh right now this is absolutely a, the craziest video i could show you if you're watching uh for the first time but fabulous this is the halloween episode hello all i just filmed a few tiktoks just now i wanted to show everyone my jewelry and um what's in my carry-on bag my carry-on bag is right here so i did that check those off the list now i can like put everything away 
But quickly, I think I'm just going to write in my journal and um, see if any inspiration comes to mind. I'm also starting to think about my 2024 manifestations because seven of the 14 of my manifestations, actually more like eight, I would say eight of my 14 manifestations came true this year. And... I think I can I think I can work on that I think I can be a little bit more like mindful about my manifestations and about like what I really want to accomplish during the year so I think I'm gonna start jotting down some sorry the motorcycles drive me bananas I'm gonna start jotting down some 2024 manifestations and see like what comes to mind because sometimes when I go to do these things I think about it and I'm like I don't even know what I would say you know what I mean? And I think I need to be more specific because last year, for example, last year, one of my manifestations was more traveling with brands, but I could have said like, I wanted to go to Coachella. I wanted to do like a weekend trip to uh, Miami or something. I, I want to do a weekend trip with a brand to Lisbon. I don't know. I feel like I could, I can be a little bit more specific because I did go to Coachella and I, I did... I did do some weekend things. So um, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start writing now. I've only written a handful of times, but if anyone can get me to write a Terry Styles and his pleasing notebook. <laughs> fabulous 24 manifestations let's talk about it actually maybe i'll put that in its own video would you guys be interested in a in a manifestation video like all of my goals that i wanted to accomplish this year versus what did get accomplished what didn't what's realistic what isn't realistic what i want for the next year is that something that's interesting to you guys because i could really i could do that this looks really cute. If we get a Christmas tree, the I cats, will handle it. The cats are going to destroy it within no, no, no. 24 hours. Cat, not Gigi, the bad cat. Yeah, but he got in the big tree the first time we got one, remember? Yeah, he like, like slept in it. in it. Yeah, so what makes you what think? Are they, what do you guys think? <laughs> Should we get a tree? <laughs> I think we should. <laughs> across the street from Nighthawk. I've been meaning to come in here for so long. So cute. Oh, I like those pants a lot. Walking to Trader Joe's to get food for dinner tonight. I hate this weather, guys. I cannot wait to be on vacation for my birthday, which is in a month today. A month today, I will be 30. Oh, the panic is setting in, the panic. The thing is, is like, I don't feel like I'm 30. I feel like I'm still 25. So Trader Joe's had no food. <laughs> um, none, no vegetables, nothing. Like I wanted broccoli and zucchini and carrots for dinner tonight. Literally didn't have any of those things. So I'm going to a different grocery store right now and it's raining. What have I told you guys about this heating blanket? Look at, got done filming a bag review today i did the gucci jackie if you've been following my youtube for a while you know I've, I've done some bag reviews in the past i'd like my prada nylon bag way back when which is so cute to think about my cleo i just recently did my bottega bag and now i'm doing my jackie bag i'm slowly slowly getting through my collection because i find those videos very very helpful 
and um, I love watching them. So I figured why not make them. So I just got done that and I think I'm going to end the vlog here because I do have to clean my apartment and go to the grocery store because every grocery store was either so busy or had no food. So I have to go, I have to go do that. I will see you guys next week for another weekly vlog.